Okay, all right, this is what's gonna happen. Four years ago, five years ago, I used to do mail time streams. I used to open your packages on my, uh, on my old channel, or same channel, seems like an old channel, back when I was a different man, so to speak. Since then, I've grown, I've matured, and I'm hoping you guys have as well, because I stopped doing mail time because you guys kept sending me socks that were covered in cum, radioactive dog sh dangerous things, I was an idiot back then. I used to, some guy mailed me uh, pickles that he, you could tell he made it himself. It was in a big jar. I ate those things up. Uh, some guy mailed, the same guy mailed me beef jerky that smelled funny. I don't even know if it was beef. It was just jerky meat. Could have been roadkill. I ate it. Looking back on that, um, that was insane. That was a stupid idea. I shouldn't have done that. And so this time I, I have gloves. I got nitrile gloves I'll be putting on uh, so that I don't get, uh, like whatever you guys are giving me. I should have bought one of those cheapo hazmat suits. That would be funny, depending on how this one goes, because I've already paid for a year of the of the stupid P.O. box, so you got a year of this shit. And so if this is absolutely vile, if this is something that isn't even safe for me to do, you know, I already paid for it, so I'm gonna get my money's worth, you know? So keep the packages coming, but next time I might be in like a hazmat suit. I guess it's time we get started. All right, hold on, let me get, is that one still face tracking? All right, sweet. All right, first things first. This is a massive box. This one was picked up this morning. Whoever sent this in, you got it in like at the last second. To a Mr. General Sam from a Mr. Eli. So Mr. Eli, whoever you are, thank you for the massive box. Okay, this ain't good. Remember when, uh, at the beginning, when I said there was concerns about anthrax, maybe, and some biological attacks? I just want it to be said for the record, this box, dude. Seems a bit sketch. Oh my God, it's got like a fucking manifesto on the back. Depending on the, uh, the, the tone of this letter that comes with this box, really determines whether or not I open this. If there's some like kind of like sinister vibe to it, might not be opened. Dearest General Sam, I hope you enjoy my Scotty, shoddy, rushed craftsmanship. I heard your joke about what you might get in the mail and decided to rush build and ship it four days before vacation. I have been watching your videos for years and missed my chance to send you anything years ago. Love your content and look forward to for more to come Hopefully I'm in chat watching. Do you understand how much I wanna dox you just in case this blows up in my face? In fact, if this does fucking kill me, I just wanted to be said that the box that has this guy's information on it is going to be in the room adjacent to me in the corner. Be right back. Okay, wait, hold on a second. The second part, there's a postscript. His name's Eli Builds Things. He says, P.S. If you get hit, please don't come after me. Expect a build video after I get back from vacation. YouTube.com forward slash Eli Builds Things. Okay, so <laughs> Eli, if you get hit. Uh-uh. <laughs> look! This camera, look, 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 as you open it, there's some Viet Cong shit. Look. <laughs> Upon further inspection, it seems to be just, just to open it. Yeah, it's definitely a glove because I made a joke about a, like someone making something where a boxing glove punches you in the face. I'm gonna look up, is Eli Builds, what is his name, Eli? Someone figure out, is this guy legit? Eli Builds Things, seven subscribers. And the only video he has is Spooky Scary Skeletons, Five Trumpets version. One last sip of DC before meeting the Almighty. Dude, like, okay, if this guy was reputable, if this guy was like a dude that has been known to make crazy builds, if Colin Furs sent me a box with some wires, I'd be like, okay, he's not trying to fucking blow my face off, but Eli Builds? You got no track record, bro. I'm gonna have to get a stick or something. Eli, you bitch, your shit's not working. It, it, I can see the fucking wires connected to shit. 
I can, I'm looking at it. That thing ain't moving. You know what? This is, I got two kids, man. I'm putting this outside. This is, this one's sketchy. Eli, go fuck yourself. I just got finished watching all these insane videos on Reddit of people blowing their hands up with fireworks. <clears throat> and they probably thought they were being safe. So yeah, it might be like an airbag, like a car airbag. And when I open it, it goes and like busts up. Like, I don't want that shit in my house. Explosives in my house, are you kidding me? So anyways, Eli Build Things, uh, good luck with your illustrious YouTube career. You're going places. Mailing things that could, might be roughly described as terroristic uh, devices to people's houses. Eli Builds Things is gonna be a huge channel in the future. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna take a little break here real quick uh, and tell you guys that I, I started a new show with my friends. We, uh, we started a D&D podcast. If you're into D&D, I'm not into d and I've uh, never played before in my life before I started this show. Uh, neither is Brian, but it's me, Brian, Poob, and Bizzle is our DM. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, even if you think like, you might be thinking just like me, like D&D, that's what those uh, fucking nerds were playing in Stranger Things. Those nerds look like a couple kids I would have beat up in school. Uh, what the hell? Why would I want to play that shit? Uh, our, our way of playing is more of like on the funny side. Uh, I don't think we've done anything serious yet. Here's a clip. That's all of us. <laughs> now, Sam, you have to engage us in conversation. Uh, no, dude. Like, I first of all, I said, could maybe somebody else go first? Second of all, you just, you just gave me 18 fucking different things to pay attention to. I fucking forget <laughs> it, like you're, half of it. You're a wench. You're deep in your I'm right writing now. it down. And it's, Everybody's <laughs> screaming at me to stop DMing stuff. I'm, I'm trying to write down all the, I'm a, a Pinewood Pass. That's that's where I am. Oh, wait, okay? yeah, I should probably Pinewood actually pass. take notes. Fate's Fork, that's the end. Where and then I? like, I got to the Mexican guy with the metal box and I was like, oh fuck. And then I started writing down the manager and then there was another opportunity wandering through. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, but let's go back to those, um, <laughs> those gnomes. They've huh? gone, they went to about they hours left. ago. They left didn't tip. They left. <laughs> they left to get, give you a yeah, dollar. Yeah, you don't have that in your notes, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. What, what am I, a fucking pussy? I didn't go out there and yell at them? I didn't what confront them in the alley as they were leaving? Uh, they what didn't leave. The they, this is an inn. They just went upstairs. They, oh, they, oh, they went to, so they're they to asleep above me. Somewhere? There's a gnome room up there. <laughs> but, <laughs> were they funny or were they just loud? They were just loud. Oh, uh, they weren't even like nothing. Like they weren't being yeah, super funny not or anything. Funny like us. No, they, they were just, uh, they were just kind of, you know, obnoxious. How did they, uh, you know, how did they treat me? Were they rude and dismissive? They didn't no, they tip were, you. They were fine. They just didn't tip you. You're kind of expecting a tip because they're pretty nice. Is it like a cultural thing? Is it like. Uh, <clears throat> Are, are gnomes known for tipping in this world? As much as anyone else. <laughs> there isn't okay. like a real... Oh, really? Okay. Uh, so, okay. so they're really loud in the restaurant, and they don't... <laughs> yeah, they don't tip. <laughs> what are you getting at here? <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't like a funny loud. It was so, like... It just pissed wait. me off. <laughs> That's just, that's uh, I don't like what this guy's <laughs> getting at with these gnomes. Yeah. I might be out. I don't know. I mean, it's a goblin. I don't... Okay, so let's say, let's say for example, you guys made a little box with a boxing glove on a spring. Wouldn't you fine tune it, try it so that when you go to open the box, it comes up reliably? I was really yanking on the lid of that box, right? That would lead me to believe, I think it was like a one-time thing. I do think it was a pro probably a fucking car airbag because that's not something you can do twice. It's technically an explosive. Mr. No Name, uh, don't worry, I'll sign your, I'll sign your vinyl and I'll send it back. And this one's my personal favorite. Abby hated her job. She quit her job, she started working for me. I, I was tired of her walking in from the door and going like, I, I would be all hat because I had been playing games all day and vibing. I'd be like, hey, I had a great day, how was your day? And she would just be like, I wanna fucking kill myself. So I, I got her to open up this PO box thing. She's the one that goes over there and grabs this stuff. And somebody sent a, a tube that says vaginal odor helper on the side of it. And she had to fucking walk out of the, <laughs> the post office place with this thing under her arm, <laughs> which she wasn't too happy about. <laughs>
Smells fishy in here. You've been pranked. Oh, that's funny. It's, there's not even vaginal odor help. It's one thing to embarrassingly walk out of the P.O. box place with like the post office with this thing. It's another thing if it doesn't even help your stinky pussy. So that's, that's a shame. That sucks. This one's from Lithuania. Gives absolutely no indicator of who it's from. Just from the country of Lithuania. It's a bulging can of something. Oh, oh fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. I've seen some, a little bit of a guy called, uh, what's that guy's name? Steve MRE 1983 or whatever. What's that guy's name? It's, uh, this is Sir Strum. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get muscle bus to tell me exactly what this is, but I'm 90% sure it's when they take fish. You know, have you guys ever heard of Swedish people? Most disgusting people on this planet. They will take fish and just shove it in the dirt, throw a little bit of lime on it. Like they're trying, like they're a serial killer trying to uh, decompose a body in their basement. Piss on it a little bit. Leave it there for 17 months and then they can it. It's fermented fish. Now here's the problem. Knowing that MRE Steve guy, when a can bulges like that, isn't that a huge indicator of botula? That thing is, it's drummed out. There's no way it's meant to be. And it's its like under pressure, dude. That's like a fucking Coke can. I might make a video where I, I give that a, a old test a -roo, but not today, because that, that requires research. Oh, a tip. The fish can withstand several days of room temperature. After being received until opened, it should be stored in a fridge to ensure its best quality. I'm gonna put it in my, uh, I got a little mini fridge over here. Well, thank you, Mr. Unknown Man from Lithuania for the Sir Strumming, maybe. Might possibly be something that kills me. Pay your brother $1,000 to eat it. Let me tell you something. My brother, God bless his soul, is conveniently post-divorce. Uh, he's struggling, dude. That boy is struggling. Thousand dollars? That might be a little bit beyond his pay grade. I bet you I could whittle that down to two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks? I bet you I could eat him. I get him to eat that. Well, not eat him. No, I don't want. <laughs> two hundred bucks? I'd eat his ass. <laughs> oh, this one's really close to me, from Mr. Angel, from Marietta, Georgia. He has a, a like a laser jet ink thing of my old logo from like forever ago. A little picture of me on a Coke can and what seems to be some sort of tribal art. A little, a little death claw head. Was this 3D printed? Good evening, Sir Sam. I come in the form of, an, of a letter package bearing gifts and a humble request. I've included a hand painted death claw that I made with a resin 3D printer. Second is a block sticker of your Diet Coke caricature. Lastly, I have included a postcard with postage and address. If you could sign it, put it in the mailbox, it would make me the happiest little girl in the whole wide world. Angel's a girl's name. I didn't realize. I thought it was just Mexican dudes. Death claw head, eh? And little, oh, look at me under the, with Tim's. Timmed up. God damn, son. But if you guys want to send stuff, fuck. We gotta wait for the other camera. You want to send stuff. Oh, it's trying to find my face. You can't find it. Right there, look! God damn it! 1400 Village Square Boulevard, Suite 3, Box 340, Tallahassee, Florida, 32312-1231. That's the P.O. Box. It's not a P.O. Box, it's a fucking, it's a UPS store and it's a, like a fake address. So, if you go to the post office and they say like, hey dude, that's not an address, or that's not a P.O. Box, it's not. Tell them it's not a fucking P.O. Box, it's just a regular box. Yeah, the, some of these are just from Amazon. This one's from Amazon. When I said like, send me stuff for the, the post office box, I really had in mind more like, uh, oh shit, a book of dad jokes. Never mind. I was gonna complain and say like, you know, like I would much rather just a nicely worded letter from you guys than like purchasing something from Amazon. But I didn't realize a book of dad jokes was on the table. You guys wanna hear some of these? <laughs> I just finished my first day of excavation training. I'm really digging it. Huh? I confronted a mime today. He did unspeakable things. These fucking suck. <laughs> These are dad jokes. Oh, dude, hey, wait, wait. You guys hear about the farmer that plowed his field with a steamroller? Uh, he wanted mashed potatoes. <laughs> Whoever's editing this, put in a fucking laugh track or I'm gonna kill you. That wasn't a death threat. That, that's just how I treat my subordinates, my employees. Some of these are just like really a big stretch here. Listen to this one. What did the dad volcano say to his son? I lava you. 
Abby made up a joke and thought it was the funniest shit in the world. And her joke was like, hey, what do you do when your hair is unruly? You put it in hair jail. <laughs> That's less of a stretch than I lava you, for sure. Hey, what's sticky and brown? A stick. That one actually slaps. That one's pretty good. <laughs> hey, what kind of hair do oceans have? Wavy. <laughs> All right, these are hitting. Hey, I wasn't surprised when the price of balloons went up. There's always inflation in this business. All right, this is the last one. I swear, this is the last one. Why couldn't the art dealer pay his rent? He ran out of Monet. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, we're keeping this one on the table. When things get dry, you guys just uh, let me know when you want to hear more of that. That little gym's going to keep the channel afloat for a couple years for sure. World's hottest, Mad Dog 357. Oh, it's hot sauce. Fuck. 357,000 Scovilles. I don't like that this thing gives you a fucking, uh, what were those, like the permission slips that you have to sign before you do something stupid? Because there's like a giant, like, uh, user license agreement. I agree, as indicated by my opening of this bottle. By opening it, you lay down your signature that as follows and connected with my purchase of this product, one, this purchase, this product is extremely hot and I should use it with extreme care. The product is to be used at my own risk and I fully understand the potential danger if handled improperly. If I give this product as a gift, I will make the recipient fully aware of the potential danger, danger used or handled, if used or handled improperly. I hereby disclaim, release, or relinquish any and all claims, actions, and lawsuits that I or any of my dependents, heirs, family members, or legal representatives may have against any party relating to any damage or injury that results or is alleged to have resulted from the use, consumption, ingestion, contact, or other use of or from this product. I am not inebriated and otherwise not of a sound mind, and I am fully able to make sound decisions about the purchase of this product. I don't want to fucking eat this. If, if that's on the front. I really don't want to eat it. Illiterate moment. Yeah, I don't read out loud a lot. I take that back, dude. All right, you saying I'm fucking illiterate, dude? I will go upstairs right now and get the Butter Battle book by Dr. Seuss. And I can, my tongue can weave those words. I'm telling you, without a fucking hiccup. Use a toothpick? That might be an option. Cause let me tell you something. I'm about the whitest person you know, all right? I don't like spicy food. On top of that, my dad's Jewish. Jewish people are afraid of spices. They run like the Dickens. Have you ever had matzah, matzah ball soup and shit, latkes? Those people don't know what the fuck salt and pepper is. All right, and people make fun of white people for salt and pepper. Jewish people don't even use salt and pepper. They just, they eat that shit out of the earth, right out the fucking ground, like God intended from the Old Testament. That's a dollop. A little bit on my finger. It's not even pleasant. And I do not, by the way, I forgot to mention that my, uh, my gastrointestinal system, it ain't the happiest on the planet, dude. There's, I could, ugh, I could eat something and it would really fuck me up. I'm sweating already, what the fuck? Dude, my fucking chest is getting hot. Yeah, I'm good with that, dude. That, that can go right in the fucking garbage, holy shit. You know what, since I'm eating spicy stuff, I do have this, uh, I handled that all right. It just kind of made me like a little bit hot for a second. I got this Pat Paqui hot, world's hottest fucking chip. And uh, I saw, what's his name, Omid ate this fucking thing. He seemed to be having problems. Inside is a singular chip. And I was supposed to eat it during the Tarkov stream and I didn't. Any last words, rules for the challenge. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. Oh, it's broken. Doesn't really smell like much. <laughs> when I'm sad, I like to make a pork roast. <clears throat> that way I have a shoulder to cry on. I used to be a member of the secret cooking society but they kicked me out for spilling the beans. Uh, let's go back to the, my hands are shaking. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, three jokes in and I got a drink. That didn't fucking help at all. We might have to get some milk. I will be right back. <sighs> Amid's a pussy. Easy. Let me tell you something. Amid got the chip 
and he ate the chip. And then he was like, hey, I'm like, so he was like sweating and stuff. He didn't handle it well. And I was like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if I got the chip and I took a X-Acto knife and I cut it and I pulled the chip out and I, and I got a corn chip, a regular corn chip and, and coated it with stuff that isn't spicy and poked it in there. And then I would have a fake chip. That way I could eat it and make uh, Omid look like a fucking pussy, right? Well, I did all that. And then uh, the chip, the chip still had some dust on it from the inside of the packaging. I'm such a pussy that just my fake chip that was completely no spice, no spice at all, got residue of spice on it from the fucking envelope. And I, my hands were shaking in the other room. Jesus fucking Christ, how do you eat that thing? Yeah, thanks for that, dude. Wait, it wasn't even, nobody sent that in. I did that on my own. Still, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> And the other part of this is a little plague doctor, uh, plushy. Thank you for that. Uh, I'll give this to my daughter, I guess. She likes stuffed animals. Oh, by the way, I, I wanna preface this. I forgot about this at the beginning. Everything in this pile, I, I wanna show an immense amount of gratitude to you guys for sending stuff in. It means the world to me. In fact, I still have every bit of fan mail that you guys have ever written me, ever. I hold on to this stuff, because it does mean the world to me. So if I'm in the middle of the stream and I don't seem to kind of like show the amount of appreciation that you were hoping, it's because of this whole thing. I'm like in the middle of doing this, I'm sorry. But I do appreciate you guys sending stuff in. Oh, it's a pink guy outfit. Look at that. If I ever want to do a Filthy Frank cosplay, I'm not putting on the Filthy Frank fucking onesie. I have too much self-respect for that. He quit the game when he was at the top of it and he went to go make shit music. No, I'm not wearing his fucking pink guy outfit. This guy give me like, what is this, like Vietnam face paint? Templeton Tonics, can someone look this stuff up? Is it for balding people? Hell yeah. Fellas, we might have found a cure. Just rub this tincture on your scalp three times a day and you will start seeing your hair come back the moment I leave town. <laughs> This one's got a QR code that I don't want you guys scanning, so I'm gonna hide it. It's a guy's YouTube channel. Flof Hoff, F-L-O-F space H-O-F. Okay, this brings me back, dude. This is like a box from old mail time. People just mailing, they just open up a junk drawer and put it in a box. Hey, come back here. Like, look at this, dude. It is just a box of shit. Just random shit that he wanted to get rid of. A Coca-Cola pack of cards. A DVD season of Psych. Some sort of Russian, like, Soviet pin. A human skull. A sock puppet. Sock puppet do kind of go hard though. Okay, I take it back. Hey, maybe this awesome puppet can tell us a fucking wicked joke from the book. Hey, gay guys, what's a pig's favorite Shakespeare play? Hamlet! Dude, this sock got jokes. <laughs> Yeah, this sock's fucking insanely funny. Someone get this thing a career. Whoa, I'm keeping this sock puppet. I'm really happy you sent this to me. I want to show an immense amount of gratitude to you guys for sending stuff in. It means the world to me. It's in the trash, but I really appreciate the, the season of Psych. My wife loves this show. There was a letter in here. I should probably read it. This one looks like a manifesto. Enclosed are items that will be vital to your survival in the upcoming nuclear winter following the events of November 15th, 2022. The items are as listed. The skull of Jerry, who generously sacrificed his life for our survival. He bore the most meat. Thank you, Jerry. A 3D printed duck. Barter trade for 12 ed. 12 eggs. I don't see no 3D printed duck. Oh, I see him. He's tiny. 12 eggs for this? I couldn't get one egg. Oh fuck, I fucked up. The sock puppet is for sexual companionship. Some McDonald's Szechuan sauce. This will be eaten with the uh, Sir Strumming in the future. Thank you. Season five of Psych on DVD. Sean Spencer will guide you in the new world. One condom. The radiation makes everyone infertile, so get creative with your use of this. Absolutely, thank you. A token of communism to appease the red ones. 10 DVDs of American classics. Coca-Cola branded trading cards. You must beat a boat captain in, the, in a game of blackjack for passage to Norway. A shirt to mark you as one of them. The Fish Clan will ensure your survival. Use these tools wisely, you greasy gamer. Your only remaining video after the great cleansing is that one of the guy who put your green screen over his anal video on Pornhub. Yeah, I forgot about that. I did a collab with a porn star on Pornhub. Uh, go look for that, I guess, if you feel like it. And what is this shirt? It's a guy feeding another guy on a tray in the hallway and it says, feed him. It's just weird enough that I will wear it. Well, thank you for all the... Oh man, psych? Are you kidding me? I love psych. What gives? Stop focusing on the... 
turn her head around. What are you focused on? Her head's backwards! My child, I had to take my child off the wall. Do it again, do it again. Fuck! Man, that got me hot heated. Pizza flavored cotton candy. And pickle flavored cotton candy. I'll go for pickle first. That tastes like a fucking pickle, dude. Into the garbage. I appreciate you sending stuff in. <laughs> That was gross. That almost made the whole puking sensation really come to a boil. Uh, which was better? They're both dog shit. If I had, if I was forced, probably the pickle, I would assume. Let's get a little pile going. Let's, let's speed this up a little bit. I feel like we're taking forever. What is this one? Articulated finger extensions. Oh, this is tight. Whoa. Oh, we need another dad joke. I'm sorry, we running low here? Did you hear that joke about robots? It really grinds my gears. The satellites got married on Saturday. The reception was fantastic. If goods are damaged in transport, do they become bads? <laughs> I love the slow turn to the other camera. All right, maybe the front of book, the front of the books where the good ones are, maybe they front load it with like the real heavy hitters. I need to fucking, I need to study up on these, dude. I, I got a couple more years where my, my kids are gonna, these are gonna hit with them. They're gonna understand them. <laughs> Hey, it was easy for me to master braille once I got a feel for it. Eh? No? Okay, wait, one, <laughs> one more before we put this back down. I'm terrified of elevators. I'm gonna start taking steps to avoid them. Whoa! <laughs> Laugh track. Someone carry this guy off stage. What, what's wrong with these, dude? These are heavy hitters. Uh, these are, oh, this is the good stuff. Hey, my recliner and me, we go way back. Someone cut his mic. <laughs> Someone take it away from him. You can't stop me. I got another backup lav mic over there. Hey man, what did one eye say to the other eye? Between you and me, something smells. I'll be here all day, guys. All day, all right? By the way, these are uh, finger extenders so I can do like creepy hand stuff. Thank you for this. I'm actually gonna put them together because my daughter would get fucking freaked out by this stuff. You know what my daughter gets scared of? Stuff like this. I, I can get her every time. I'll just be like, hey, hold on, honey. I'm gonna get you something. Ah! And every time she's just like, oh, <laughs> like it fucking gets her. So easy. All right, on to the next one. A dosage spoon. Is this guy sending me like kid related stuff? Isn't this nice? This guy sent me uh, some political shit. I got a, a Trump flag and a pride flag. Everybody, I think it's high time that everybody knew. I'm proud to be retarded. I got both of them, I'm gonna fly them outside my house. See how long it takes for a Molotov cocktail to come soaring through my bay window. Well, thanks for the, uh, the Trump flag. I, I can give it to my in-laws, they'll love that shit. <laughs> oh, is there like political nuts? Did I, did I rile people up by not fucking immediately rolling the Trump flag up and shooting it up my asshole with this Durex condom wrapped around it? Hey, Shiro, good luck, dude. This is what you're gonna be editing. It's not a fun time. Hold on, Shiro, I got a, I got a nice joke for you since you're, since you're here. Shiro, what's a monster's favorite drink? Demonade. <laughs> this is when you put the laugh track in. On some of these, I kind of want to, have you ever seen comedians that like, you could tell they put a lot of energy into a joke. And so the crowd like would feel like a dick if they didn't laugh. And so instead of laughing, they clap. You ever see that? Like go watch a Dane Cook special and you'll notice that there's not many people laughing, but there's a lot of clapping. I'm hoping that all the, all the audience response I get right here is nothing but clapping. I just want some of that. Hold on, we'll get one more so the claps can really flow. Where did the piglets study their ABCs? Uh, at a school for higher loining. That's all, folks. Why don't you take Minixtradril, Minoxidil, and Finistride? Because, dude, like, I'm fucking... How do I say, how do I say this without seeming like a... Like, I don't care that much about it. Like I bought this shirt fucking like four years ago. Like I, I have like 10 shirts. I got like three pairs of pants. Like I don't fucking care about this enough to take a pill every day so I can get like a little bit of hair back. Like the people that sit there and freak out about the fact that they're going bald, 
Does it even fucking matter if you already look like dog shit? Like I could get super trim. I could get super fucking shred shredded. I could get like, you know, whatever going on. LASIK eye surgery so I don't have fucking glasses on and I look like my eyes are too small for my head anyways. It doesn't matter if I have like hair or not. Still gonna look like just like a medium guy. It just doesn't matter enough. I'm not gonna sit there and remember to take pills every day if it's not gonna make me look like George Clooney or some shit. I feel like every fucking woman is getting like tit jobs. Like, does it, is it worth the 20,000 for you to go from a five to a five with fucking tits with scars all over them? Just stick with what they gave you, all right? It sucks, but we're fine with it. This is a blanket someone sent me. I should have checked to see what was on this. <laughs> does anybody know who that is? Not Ed Kemper, I don't know who the fuck that was. It says jump scare warning. Oh, this guy just took some pictures and printed them out for you. You guys, you guys wanna see them? Let's go through these together. Spider. Ah, 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 ah. That's the jump scare that he was talking about. You don't wanna have that. Uh, another beautiful picture of the guy. But look at this one, this one's great because he, he has about as much chin as my wife has. Oh yeah, where's, <laughs> where's your little chin at bro? You're looking like Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Where's that little chin at? I'm trying to like check everything before I show it off. Oh, thank you. Someone sent me a Sekiro t-shirt. Oh, the only from software game that fucking sucks. I, I don't, I don't want that. Get it out of my house. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Sekiro just did not hit well for me. Oh, someone sent in one of those, uh, those pillow chamois. It's got, uh, Danny DeVito's face on it, and then if you rub it this way, it wait, that way. Once it has the pillow on it, it's a whole lot easier. I'll be putting that on the living room couch. Abby will enjoy that. Thank you. The guy on the blanket was Asterios Kokinos. It took someone that long to figure out who the fuck that guy was. This one here. This is it. Somebody may have just unlocked the great question, the gate. People always act like, uh, hey man, there's a, there's a huge problem out there uh, with racism between white and black people in America. And I disagree. I think there's a failure to communicate. We, we just, we don't have the same vernacular. This guy has sent me a dictionary of African American slang so that we can, uh, we can finally hang out and there won't be a language barrier. Uh, like this, from the 1800s, Hussey, a young woman with a tainted reputation. Example, Wilhelm Molina is one sneaky gal. There ain't a wife down here who ain't worried about that Hussey. Hell yeah. <laughs> a hustler from eight, 1650s to 1860s. One who moves fast. See hustle. Oh, these are great, hold on. Oh man, okay, so this one's from 1920s, 1930s. This is kind of a voodoo word here. Uh, a hoodoo bag. A bag containing graveyard dust and other magic potions used in conjuring. Oh, a hooker. See, I thought a hooker was like a prostitute. Turns out a hooker is a saxophone player who delivers poor quality music. See, if a guy walked up to me and he said, dude, I'm in a pinch, I'm looking for a hooker. I would have just fucked that guy's day up. He's looking for a low quality saxophone musician. I would have sent him down to the, uh, the uh, you know, where the prostitutes are. This is indispensable right here. This is gonna be passed down from generation to generation in my family. Thank you for this. Incredible. That one's good. I'm liking that. This is another book. Let's see what kind of fucking awesome books we got. Uh, this one's, what? This one's from my town. Specifically from the goodwill in my town. Oh, here we go. I'll give this to Abby. A thousand ways to please a husband. Abby's got 999 things to learn in here. If uh, if you ladies are here, I can teach you a thing or two to make your husbands uh, happy. And I wanna see, when was the copyright date? 1917, and then it was republished in 2012 as like a joke. Where's the fucking punchline? Shiro, if you put a goddamn laugh track right here, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. That's a credible threat of violence. <laughs> Where's the fucking joke? I wanna know what's funny here. <laughs> what to have on your emergency shelf in case uh, impromptu guests come over. Six cans of pimentos, six cans of tuna, six cans of salmon, six jars of dried beef, 12 cans of corn. There's not a single fresh anything here. It is just canned dog shit. All right, I'm not gonna read any more of this. This is just, I, I'm just getting too excited about how much I'm gonna be happy in the future. Davy Crockett. 
a draft board official. Example, guess I'll be down to see Davy Crockett and sign up to get my butt shipped over to the big ship. I don't know what that means. It's like 1940s slang or something. Yeah, when Sam pulls out the jive to crack a book, I sit my ass down and listen. <laughs> when I pull out the jive to cracker dictionary, I expect there not to be a fucking word in chat, all right? That chat better come to a goddamn standstill because I'm teaching you guys something. Oh shit. This is a, it's like a poster or something like that. I'm trying to get it out without damaging it. This is from Mega64 Incorporated. Mega64 time, it's like a little poster. Stop focusing on her! Focus on me. Or receive death. I foresee somebody walking around the corner. Yo, Abby, you wanna hear a dad joke? What did the pumpkin say when it was surprised? Oh my gordness. You were fucking crying. Oh, 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 wait, I forgot. I'm sorry, I got this book for you. It is A Thousand Ways to Please Your Husband. Oh, thank you, I really needed that. Yeah, well, that's why I told him. I said, uh, she, she has about 999 things she has to learn in there. One day. It's a book full of recipes. It's, yeah, a book full of recipes. Uh, no, there's also like dinner etiquette. Like it, there was like a thing about like, if you're at the dinner table with your husband, like don't fucking talk. Don't look him in the eyes. Don't even ever even look off the ground. Like put your plate on the ground maybe in like a dog bowl or something like that. There's a lot of stuff in there. Later. Love you. It sounded like. That sounded like a fake I love you, but I'll accept it. This is a letter from, fuck. They didn't write their name inside. From Brody. Hey Brody, thank you for writing in. It says, Dear General Sam, my name's Brody. I live in Arizona, I love watching your videos. They're so wrong, but get me laughing all the time. Oh, that's the podcast. Also, the podcast is awesome. I only listen to the YouTube one on the way to work, but it usually gets me smiling to start the day. Although I do disagree that Venom was a bad movie, that was funny and has stupid action. So if you don't like thoughts, you've just, you don't like that, that. Dude, your handwriting is dog shit. I don't know what that says. Sincerely, some fan. P.S. Feel free to read my name or make fun of me when you roast fans. Well, actually, oh, contrary. I'm gonna thank you for writing in. I appreciate it. So uh, what is this, a flat brim hat that says Danky Shane. I don't know what Danky Shane is, but you guys are about to see my greatest my greatest fear is putting on hats because my head is too large for hats. I guess that one kind of sits on there, but this is like a hat that Fred Durst would wear. Have you guys ever listened to Bones? <laughs> oh my God, dude, this is a whole fucking dr dripped out outfit. Oh, this shirt goes fucking hard. It's got a man's ass on it. <laughs> God, the ultimate fluffer. <laughs> This fucking rules. I uh, sat down and I messaged uh, Wubby. You guys know Pay Money Wubby? I went out of my way to message him and go, hey, uh, I see you've done the, the things, the mail opening things. What should I have to look out for? And he was basically no help. He was just like, yeah, like, some, like sometimes you'll open stuff and it's bad and you just like get it off screen really quick. And I was like, but what exactly is bad? bad like define like what's that like because twitch is fucking weird dude like there's nude bitches that are like painting their nipples so therefore they're not nude you know i'm over there i'm not complaining i'm fucking whacking off while watching it but i'm like wait at what point is this nudity like if she just didn't have the pain it wouldn't be okay and if a guy has his fucking sweaty hog out and he's holding it up and he's just painting it to look like an anaconda is that okay is that fine the lines in this site are fucking weird they're blurred. And so I asked him and he's like, if there's dicks or whatever, don't show them. <laughs> that was it. I, this, I fucking know this has like an explosive thing in it. Golden, because it just says golden potato chips. Works every time. This thing fucking sucks, dude. This isn't <laughs> It doesn't even remotely look like a snake either. It's just a plastic brown bag with like vaguely snake texture on it. But it's okay, we're about to learn some African-American vernacular. High cotton, living the good life, wealth, prosperity, the lifestyle of wealthy white folks. High powered, timely, attractive, fashionable. The likes of you can't make no time with her. She's a real high powered lady, boy. 
That's from Harlem. This is important stuff, guys. This is like the Rosetta Stone, all right? We can't fucking lose this thing because without this, we're not gonna know what the hell's going on. If anybody starts to watch a Spike Lee movie, a Spike Lee joint, you contact me first and we'll go over some key notes here and we'll make sure that's an enjoyable experience for you. This one's from Amazon. Thank you, Mr. Bezos. This says, please be patient, I have autism. I'm not gonna wear that. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> Could have gotten me a larger size, buddy, but this shit looks good. It feels right too. It just feels like something I should have. Stop face tracking on the skull. What do you mean? <laughs> Why does it think I, the mannequin's more human than me? Are you kidding me? Hey, the skull's more human than me. You're gonna track the fucking skull. Look at this. I bet you if I move it. God damn it. Pay attention to me. That's the move right there. Be respectful to daddy. I don't know what that's from. Oh, hell yeah. And a cap gun. I love the little tiny belt buckle though. Really captures the essence of a big Texas uh, sheriff to go along with my, my coat. Pow, pow. There we go. It is a cap gun. That's pretty badass. I need to get some caps just so like when you guys fucking piss me off in an instant, I can just fucking pull one out on you. Yeah, I'll be carrying this around in the neighborhood just so people don't fuck with me. I'm sure good things will come of it. Thank you for whoever sent me this thing. This is from Integrated Surplus Parts. Hey Sam, I watched your videos since I was in sixth grade and now I'm a college kid. So to pay you back for supplying kid me with videos, I'm sending you toys for your, he says, <laughs> it says grocery bags and then it's marked out and it says toys for your kids to play with. Also in this box is a shirt I bought from you years ago. If you could sign it, that would be awesome. So what shirt is this? Oh, this is the one everybody's been asking to, to bring back. God damn, this guy's tiny. I took the day off to J off t-shirt. I made a shirt back in the day for like, you know, if you were gonna uh, play hooky from school or work or something and just spend all day fucking cranking one out, you have a shirt for the occasion. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring that one back. I just wanna have like a proper, I wanna have like different artwork for it. This one's just like a, some shit from Amazon, it looks like. Lots of flags. It's a Black Lives Matter flag. The camera doesn't like it. Show it to the people! Yeah, the camera, I'm sorry guys, the camera was really trying to, we need to work out some kinks with the software here. I feel like it was, uh, why was it trying to avoid it so bad? What do you have to hide, camera? Sickening. When I held up the Trump flag, steady. That camera didn't fucking move. I hold up the Black Lives Matter flag. It's avoiding it, averting eye contact. I try to cover all sides here. If you're like, uh, I'm not even gonna. I do want this account to stay active for some time. You know, I don't want to be fucking relegated to Facebook gaming quite yet. The cap gun box has a message. The husband book is, hey, hey! The husband book is for Abby. In the probable event that she leaves you, the rest of the items sent are for you to either take her back or take a new bitch. I have some shit on the way that's from my house. From John Biddle, thank you. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Oh, it's got a little, it's got a little box on it. It says, thanks for taking, for making Tarkov so toxic, you fucking weasel. LMFAO, hope you liked the gift from Tori and Andrew from Indiana. Hi, Tori, hi, Andrew. It's a thousand pictures of huge tits and big boobs by Madalena Ann.
Yeah, but that big titty book was fucking lame. I don't like either of you from Indiana. Fuck people from Indiana. Poop too. I'm sorry, Poop. Like, I love you, man. You're like one of my best friends. You're a great guy and everything. But fucking Tori and Andrew from Indiana have ruined everybody in that fucking state. You're dirt people. All right. Open this after you open that. It just says it's a fake boob book. I'm more of a real boob book kind of guy. This is very concerning because now the second thing I'm opening here is a package suspiciously in the same stylings as the, this is the big boob book. What's gonna be in the identical bag? If this is the little boob book, I'm not even opening it. It's an open-faced green screen outfit. Uh, slight concern, you guys said, uh, you guys made it a 2XL, which seems like it might be a little bit big for me, but you know, whatever, that's fine. See, that's utility. I also like utility, guys. Things I can use, like video props, like this fucking badass gun. Hold on, let me make sure this thing's loaded. Send me more stuff like that! Ba 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 ba. I'm a huge coffee fiend, by the way. This one says coffee on the outside of it, so I'm gonna open this fucking thing up. I really got high hopes for this. Oh, babe, hold on. Look at this book, dude. A thousand pictures of huge tits and big boobs. No. Take a look at them, though, they're good. Why do you think? Open it up. I fucking almost cried. I opened that thing and almost, they had to, they watched a mental breakdown. Second I opened that fucking thing. And you know what sucks is immediately after I opened that, right, I open it, nothing on the pages. I'm, and then I opened up, there's a gun, right? They sent me a gun. I start plugging this thing in my mouth and start pulling the trigger. It's a cap gun, it doesn't even work. They're sending me a bunch of shit that don't even work. I see like weird mechanized parts in here. Oh, is this like 3D printed? Oh, that's cool as hell. Go, oh, look at this. It's a little tape deck thing. It says ghouls gone wild. Huh? I think this is a failed printing exercise because there's some of it broken. Yeah, yeah, there's more to it. There's more to it. Hold on. Does this all like come together or something? Oh, hell yeah, that does. It's a 10 millimeter pistol, right? From Fallout 3. Am I crazy? Is that what that is? By the way, I've never held a, uh, a 3D printed item before. This is pretty tight. It feels pretty solid. I do. I want to get it. Oh, shit. I want to get a 3D printer, but like, I feel like I would print like one thing and then never use it ever again. I think Brian had, why are you on the GIMP again? Jesus. Don't you hate it when the GIMP is getting more attention than you at your own house? It's like I invited you guys here to fuck me and the GIMP, but don't like talk to them. Don't focus on them. Hey, you guys want to hear a little dad joke before we carry on? Hold on. There's more stuff in that box, but uh, hey, what, what do chickens serve at birthday parties? Coop cakes, like a, like a chicken coop. That's a good one. Imagine you're vegetarian and I'm not. And so I go, hey, oh, you're vegetarian? I think that's a big missed steak. Oh, whoa, wait, this one's good, this one's good before we carry on. Hey, what do you call two banana skins? A pair of slippers. See, that's called streaming for the edit. Now to you guys, it seemed like I was sitting there air pumping to nothing. But when this goes to YouTube, there is going to be insane laughter. I'm talking like the biggest bout of laughter you have ever heard. And if Shiro doesn't put that in there, if he, if he thinks he's funny and he's gonna put like a little sound of crickets or something like that, I know where you live, bitch. He, he migrates in between Los Angeles and, and Fresno, so Somewhere around there, you know, a very small pool of people to go sifting through. I'll find you, Shiro. I'll fucking find you. Right, I'm gonna pull out just all the stuff to make sure there's something questionable in here then get the box out of the way. Uh, this is a real ass magazine. It's like steel stamped. Somebody ID, ID this, ID this magazine, please. A G3, a G3 mag? Man, now I need the cheap part. Does anybody have a G3? This is gonna end up being like a fucking uh, Daisy, average Daisy experience where I'm just gonna have 58 variants of magazines and no gun to go with them. Damn, there's just a lot of shit in here. Some very nice glasses. Oh yeah. I think these are my style. These will also be going to my daughter. She loves sunglasses. Also some Twinkies, Tropical Blast Edition Twinkies. I guess I'll fucking eat them just because, well for one, they're sealed and two, 
I'm kind of just disgusting and will eat almost anything. Oh, you can see the blue sticking out the side. Not actually half bad. Granted, Twinkies ain't that good to begin with. What are these, like Baja Blast or something? Oh wait, oh, and there was a, uh, The Adventures of Mr. Kool-Aid in the Wacky Warehouse. It's an actual comic. When was this made? Hold on, I wanna see like the, the copyright date on the front. 1989 is when this was published. Vintage now. Oh, by the way, that other guy sent me like a, it's a manga called Chainsaw Man. I don't really read mangas because on account that you have to flip the pages all backwards and I'll get confused doing that. No, no nudity. Hold on, we'll go through this way. Wait, this guy gets kneed in the balls real, real fucking hard. Bam! Fucking God! Gets him right in the, f <laughs> right from behind too. But yeah, for the most part, uh, anybody wondering, no fucking in this. This is real weak shit. What are you looking at? All right, let's do, we only got a couple boxes left. Hold on, we have another mask, but this one seems like more badass. This is, oh, I wish I would have had this for 4th of July. These things are like, they hate people with fucking glasses, dude. Camera. Yes. You found me. Over here! It won't follow me. It doesn't, it doesn't think I'm a person. It's so confused. Look at this. Come to daddy. You remember who I am? I was just, it's like my daughters, dude. I put on like, I just do anything to my face. Like I'll just go like, and they'll be like, oh, it's a different guy. Holy shit. How'd this fucking wacko get in the house? Also, there's one little thing in here. Oh. Anal desensitizing lube, anal comfort lube. Isn't that nice? Well, thank you for that. Why would they not want to feel it? Is this like a, a rapist's lube? Like, <laughs> if they don't fucking, if you need this, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. How about that? If your girl's like, hey, can you give me some of that shit where it makes it feel like you're not doing the thing that we're doing? Maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Just stick to fucking vaginal for external use only. External use only? I mean, like, isn't this stuff designed to go literally up your asshole? <laughs> oh, it takes like five minutes? God, I, I'm done. I apply it and before it kicks in, I'm, I'm already asleep next to her. What the fuck? Five minutes? This one looks like it might be food and it's getting dinner time, so I'm fucking hungry. Uh, Nordic ice. No sweat gel ice pack. That's not good. Oh, it's still fine. The gummy bear guy. World's largest gummy bears. How do I eat this without looking incredibly homosexual? I've seen a video of a guy downing one of these and people are like, whoa, like that's, look at him attack that hog. 37. Do I need to get a fucking cutting board and a fork and a knife? Put the lube on it. I'm not gonna deep throat it, you psycho. It's, oh, it's ribbed. That's fucking vile, dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Gummy Bear guy. Biting into something that large when it's that texture. I don't know, it's like, you just feel like when you go to bite it, like you're biting into like an elephant's trunk. It's like, it's, it's too big. See, I knew it. As soon as I fucking ate the thing, everybody in chat is just like, you like that big boy? You like that big fucking sweaty hog? Slapping your cheeks? Oh, stick it between your fucking cheek and your teeth. Oh, oh, let's see the ribbing. Oh. I think this is a sticker. This guy just sent me a regular ass sticker of himself. He just sent me a picture of himself with his arms crossed. You guys want to see a real fucking sticker? Hold on a second. Look at the boys. Who's that? That's your favorite podcast, boys. I'll let you guys guess who's who. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, Italian Ninja made those. Lisa, you guys might know her. Super talented lady. She's got a YouTube channel. You should go check it out. Makes only bangers. <laughs> Brian looks like he eats women. Yeah, he gives off that vibe too. Like if you, if you have never seen him and you just listen to him talk in a Discord, yeah. Yeah, he gives off those vibes. Dude, what the hell's with all these? Oh wait, this ain't a mask, this is even better. Now I can flex on Abby, because Abby unironically wears fanny packs, right? This one's a fanny pack that just looks like a dude's gut. It's too tight, I got the tightest fanny pack of all time! Oh, and it has a pair of socks in it. That's fucking cool. 
Well, it says, if you can read this, bring me a cup of coffee. And it's on the heels, on the bottom of the, the socks. Jesus Christ, how fucking old do you guys think I am? I'm 30. I'm 30, that's it. You guys act like I'm fucking 58 years old. I mean, in internet years, that's old. That's old as shit, I will admit. Internet years, that's getting on up there. I could work on the draw a little bit faster. That's pretty slow. My dad actually has a fanny pack that he carries a Derringer, no trigger guard or nothing. And then he just has loose bullets just sifting around in his fanny pack. And that's his like, if he goes to like a anywhere, really he does a lot of like camping with like a, a big uh, trailer thing, right? A camper. He just always has that on him, just a Derringer and a bunch of loose bullets and pocket lint where he can then just like pull it open and I'm like, dude, you're gonna get knifed before anybody, before you can get that thing loaded and not shoot yourself with it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm getting tuckered out. <laughs> it's not good. And hey, don't. The typical foot enjoyer. He's like, nice skateboard on the wall. I bet you use it. That was just, that was a gift from Mr. Donut Operator, all right? The cop guy. Everybody loves cops. I got a free skateboard from a cop. Everybody fucking hates cops. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, he did send me a skateboard though. He seems like a cool guy. I like him now though, because he's not a cop anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a streamer. It's a totally different ball game. Oh wait, there's something else down in the, the lube thing. What's this? Oh, of course, applicators. There's one where you can just cram it. It's like a, it's like a cake, an icing thing for a cake. You literally put it in the belly of the beast and you let this you squirt it up in there. I think uh, I got two things left and I'm really proud of you guys. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud of you guys. Hold on, this is loud. I'm gonna try to get this bag out of here. This is like crinkling right next to the, oh, fuck yeah. A bull whip. I guess I, I don't have enough like free space to kind of, to fucking, what is it? Don't you like drag it forward and then just like whip it back really quick? And that's where it pops. Do it. Can I just like throw the end over there and whip it back or something? I'm gonna like end up fucking myself up here. Do all the dangerous stuff outside and off stream. Found the pussy. That guy, right? Fucking. <laughs> the way I've seen it done, like they always seem so slow. They like do this beautiful melodious dance and then they just fucking wah! And it just, it's like the loudest crack in history. It's not quite getting that. I'll practice this and we'll hit it again next time. Okay, wait, I think I got this is the final. It's gonna be some sort of poster, possibly even fucking snake in a box or whatever the spring-loaded thing is. Oh, look at this. A beautiful little poster. Little rat boys hanging out in a circle. The Federation of Rats. That's actually a very fucking tight picture too. I love this picture. All right, and I think that's about it. That's about the meat and taters of it all. Um, if you guys wanna have some more uh, African-American vernacular to English, we can always school ourselves until about that, uh, about that time to get off. Oh man, hell yeah. They were just, listen to this fucking, uh, this mixed drink. It's called a shake up. It's from the 1930s and 40s. A potent alcoholic drink made of a variety of liquors, whiskey, wine, gin, and bourbon mixed together. No fucking, no grenadine, no tonic, no fucking bitters, nothing to cut it. Just scotch, whiskey, wine, gin, and bourbon all mixed together in a glass, a shebang. Oh, that's one that like everybody uses, the whole shebang, right? A shebang is a, uh, a place. A public place, home, residence, may be a source of a shabam in the jazz expression, oop bop shabam. I don't fucking know what any of this really means. I, I feel like the more I unravel, the more I, I don't know. And that's really the dangerous part of it all. Anyways, guys, I really wanted to thank you dudes. Uh, you sent in great stuff. There wasn't anything radioactive this time, as far as I can tell. I don't have a, uh, uh, a disometer or whatever they're called. No dildos this time, that was great. That was something I, was, I thought I would have to open and then quickly hurry off stage. No bodily fluids. That's, this is a new record. The new record is nothing but nice, wholesome things. Uh, some of which will, are more of like novelty status, you know, just kind of like of little use, but kind of fun. 
and some of the items here are like now integral parts of my life that like are the are the thing that keeps me keeping a competitive edge as I bustle my way through into my later years and uh, and I have you guys to thank for that you know sending in these things furthering me as a person refining me sharpening me so that uh, I'm able to provide good content I really appreciate it all of you give yourselves a round of applause and I'm gonna read a dad joke or something before I leave. Hey, what, do, what does Batman like in his drinks? Just ice. <laughs>